What's up everyone? Welcome to day 12 of I Read My Bible Today. Um, kind of interesting. Uh, for the first time since we started doing this, my, I guess, kind of nugget and what I want to talk about and think about actually comes out of Psalms. Um, so if you've been kind of tuning in with us, you know that we read part portion of the Old Testament, New Testament, uh, Psalms, and then Proverbs every single day. And typically, um, since I've started to do this, since I was like in my late teens, um, it's almost always been the New Testament is where I've kind of found my um, kind of nugget for the day or revelation or just kind of my takeaway um, from my Bible reading. Sorry, there's something in my eye. Um, but every now and then, uh, you know, Proverbs is nice and loud and talks to me or Psalms. And it's in kind of just the back half of Psalms. Um, and it says this, hold on. I had it and I gotta find it again. Uh, da, 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 da. Verse 26, to the pure you show yourself pure, to the crooked you show yourself shrewd. And then the verse before it, it says, to the faithful you show yourself faithful, to those with integrity you show integrity. And um, then he continues just to talk about how he sees God and how amazing God is and God is perfect and he's healer and he is um, amazing and you know, basically like just worshiping God. And as I kind of read it, I really just began to think about, you know, how do I see God, right? Because it says that, you know, to the pure, they see you as pure, to the, you know, to those with integrity, they see you with integrity, uh, to the faithful, they see you as faithful. And I really just had to step back and go, how do I see God? And this has always been one of my favorite conversations, um, especially with people very earlier in their faith is, you know, how do you see God? Like, who is God to you? And obviously God is big and he's, you know, just so expansive and there's so many attributes that you can relate to God. And then obviously like you have the Trinity aspect. So like, there's just, there's all these different facets and, you know, humans are so individual in the way that they perceive things that it's important that we continue to always talk about and elaborate how we see God. Um, for me, for a long time, you know, really the only person that I saw as God was Jesus. Um, and looking at the Trinity, I never really had a relationship with the Holy Spirit, never really had a relationship with the Father. It was always just Jesus and the cross and understanding um, just kind of Him coming to die for our sins and then being able to live pure. Um, and following Jesus. And then as I kind of progressed in my faith, um, I became very just heavily influenced by seeing God as father. And I grew up without a dad. And so seeing God as father um, <clears throat> really became an anchor for me in my faith because I just began to understand that I, that there was someone that was proud of me. And there was someone that adored me and loved me when, you know, I had kind of scars and I felt like, you know, my dad passed away when I was young through suicide and I took that personally through a lot of my life and believed that I was rejected and not loved. And so to see God kind of move in that way um, was amazing. And then as I've kind of progressed and kind of moved through time, um, I understood that it was important, very important to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit is our helper. Um, that's actually what even Pastor Larry talked about in kind of the, the intro today. And having a relationship with the Holy Spirit and seeing him as a helper and seeing him as a friend and seeing him as someone who's just involved in like the very everyday things and beginning to understand that all of this is God and is there with me and is just like incredible and massive and expansive, but at the same time very close and personal. And, um, you know, through the last kind of season of my life, my idea of who God is has kind of been flipped on its head and it's not really secure right now. And um, not that like my faith is shaken or that I don't believe that I should be doing this, but really just like my like mental picture of this is God. Um, I don't feel like it's like, formed or hard. It's very um, one way one day and a different day the next. And so, um, you know, it's taken a toll on my relationship with God because I have a hard time relating to him because I have a hard time 
seeing him. And so, you know, my kind of kind of takeaway for today was just, you know, how do I see God and do I have a relationship, you know, a relational like point with God where I can just like turn to. And right now it's not great. Um, just kind of being transparent. And so um, I'm learning again just how to approach God and see him as a loving father and seeing him as all powerful and seeing him as a leader and seeing him as um, Jesus who was so personal and so real, um, but also someone who demanded perfection and someone who made it very clear what the law is and seeing the Holy Spirit working through the writings of the New Testament and the Holy Spirit being involved in my, my everyday life. And a lot of my relationship with God right now is based upon the Bible because that's something that I've just been excited about a lot lately, but really getting past just the words on the page and the ideas and getting back to the heart of God. And that's so much of what this journey is and what I continue to hopefully work out. But um, yeah, today is really just like, how do you see God? And I think it's an important question for all of us to ask because, you know, it really does shape our ministry, it shapes our lives, it shapes our relationships with other people. And I think it's important to allow that perception to continue to be evolved and refined through reading the Bible and understanding truth and then in relationships with people that are going to help you see your situation and see God from a different angle. So continue to ask the question, continue to ask other people the question, how do you see God? Because we need to continue learning and developing and growing how we see God. But anyway, day 12, um, I read my Bible today. Have you? If not, go read your Bible and I'll see you in the next episode.